Jimmy Johnson and his team. Got some things going in the right direction for the 48 and Hendrick Motorsports overall, Junior. I don't know if they're back all the way, but they're certainly, their presence being felt. Just to be able to get Jimmy back in the conversation, he's a seven-time champ. Both Jimmy Johnson out there doing, doing awesome things. The pressure's definitely on. Um, we've helped our situation recently and, and are a little higher in the points. There's not many threats left for an outside winner, and I think Justin Haley winning in Daytona helped my cause a bit as well. So with all that said, yes, still plenty of pressure. We are trending in the right direction and really eager to get a win and hopefully put ourselves um, in, a, you know, in, a, in a lock situation for the playoffs and get some momentum rolling. Uh, momentum's on our side, but there's no, mo no momentum like uh, the momentum a win brings for you, for you and your team. I, I love racing. This is who I am, it's, it's what I am. I started doing this at five. Through my career, I've had plenty of ups and downs in the last couple of years, I've certainly been down. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stay there. Um, I've, I've worked my entire career to learn what I have today and, and know what I know. And, and one of the key ingredients for me throughout my career has been outworking people. And I'm, I'm busy doing that now, trying to put in time where no one else is putting it in, understanding my car in a deeper detail than anyone else. I'm just, just putting in that time. And, and I, I truly enjoy the process and enjoy putting in, in the time and work. The results have been frustrating. You know, there's no way around that. And I guess maybe some comments here and there would reflect that, but uh, there's, there's, there's no quitting me. I, I, I love what I do and I love racing. And our teammates have been, been good at times. I think as a group, now we're all consistently running the top 10, if not the top five. And right now we're just trying to find little subtleties that I want out of the race car and what I need to feel. And at the same time, we're still kind of hitting our stride as the new Team 48. You know, there's a lot of new faces on the race team. Some, some changes recently as well. We're still trying to hit our stride together and we're getting closer. Kevin and I have been working hard on it. Um, you know, we've started the season. I wanted to give him plenty of space to, to kind of create the team that he needed to. Now as we've spent some time together, he knows what he needs out of me. I know more of what I need out of him. And we continue to work on that relationship and refine it. Jimmy Johnson now on the clock. Jimmy right here is going to qualify like just inside the top 10. Track position is important. You know, qualifying, you know, I, I think if you can start in the top, top five would be fantastic. Top 10 even. You know, you can, you're set up for a, a good stage one result that way and, is, and you can advance forward. If you start in the 30s or 40s, you know, it, it's just so difficult to get that track position. You have to get off strategy, take some different risks, um, but a top five starting spot certainly makes the day way easier. This rules package punches such a big hole in the air, not only vertically because of the taller spoiler, but those air ducts in the front push the air out really far and wide. And in order to have clean air to run, you know, to try to competitively overtake someone, you need more distance and width now between cars to, to make a pass. And the VHT that's down gives us that, you know, wider lane, those options outside to try to try to make some competitive passes. And my mindset's always been, been very similar and Jeff Gordon has really helped me with that through my career and that was good or bad, that was last weekend. And you've got to come in and, and start with a a clean mind and, and just attack the weekend and the day ahead and you know take it from there. So but one thing I can add to it though is the level of work and time I put into preparing for a race. I never did this before when I was winning championships. You know the game has just changed so much. We have so much data and video now to uh, learn from. Your notes that are required are pretty in depth and there's a lot of reading and study and that stuff. Simulator time. Um, so when I look back at my five in a row especially um, I didn't work half as much.